Hi everybody, it's me, Karina Anna, on Karina Anna Crochet. And I want to welcome you all back to spend some time with me right now. Just a few minutes for me to say hi. And I hope everybody had a great day today. It was very hot here in California. 108 degrees today. So, of course, I was melting. <laughs> But I stayed indoors most of the time because I couldn't stand the heat. It was just so hot. Ruby Roo, this is my Ruby girl. She's just decided to come and say hi. She likes to come and try to get me to, she licks me and she wants me to feed her. You already ate. Stop. So anyway, for those of you who haven't never seen her before, that's my cat Ruby. Uh, my husband bought her for me about four years ago. I was going to ask him what kind of cat she was. I could tell you all. I know she's not an Abyssinian. Um, she's the cat. She's one of the cats that's red and has like a black stripe all across her back and up to her on her tail. I, I'll have to ask my husband again what kind of cat she is because I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I hope that everybody's doing good and um, I want to show you, I'm going to go over just a couple of things of what I'm going, I'm working on. I'm actually working on a tutorial right now for next, uh, for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be posting, I'm not sure what day, it'll be like a surprise. I'm going to start my um, little blessing series and I'm going to start out by posting um, one of the little blessing dolls to make one and we're going to do like a crochet along where we uh, do it in sections. I'll teach you how to make the body and then I'll teach you how to make um, the hair and we'll work on the face. I'll see how I do that because usually my husband does the faces. He embroiders their faces for me, and uh, but I'm going to see if maybe I can get him to maybe do it and teach everybody, or I'll have him teach me and then I'll show you. And then I'll have a different um, tutorial on how to do the hair. So by the time we're done, hopefully we'll have... Um, a completed doll in a, a maybe I'll do every week I'll do something else first the body then the dress then the hair and then the next day the next week we can do the face or the face and then the hair and we'll have a completed doll next month and also I want to announce that at the end of this giveaway, I'm going to be saying a special word for everybody to post, to write down, um, because I'm going to be giving, doing a little giveaway. Uh, for, it's my birthday next month, and so my birthday's coming, and I want to give a present to somebody out there, one of my subscribers. I would like to give a present to everybody, but of course that's impossible for me to do since I am going to crochet my gift um, I want to give you a crochet gift that I put all my love and time into and somebody is going to win that one of my subscribers and I'm only going to announce it today um, tonight and then the word that you have to write down um, so that when I do the random picker, that word has to be there. So uh, that little, those couple words or that little phrase has to be there. So I'll say it at the end of the video and then you'll know what to write down. But I'm really excited about it. I really am working on a doll right now that I'm going to be giving away next month for my birthday. So, um, anyway, I want to show you, I found another little blessing. I'm so excited. So, I want to show that to you. But first, before I do that, I'm going to show you um, the 
the body of the tutorial that I'm going to be doing and it's the bo doll body and this is it right here it's this little doll body okay that's the way the body looks before you I dress it or anything so or put the hair and the face on it so I'm going to be showing you how to do this in my tutorial probably next week okay so I'm I just finished the doll body and I'm working on the tutorial right now so I just wanted to show you that so you can get ready for it and what you're gonna need is you're gonna need um, I did a size G hook or F an F or a G depending on um, this one is a G but if you use an F it'll come out a little smaller and then you're gonna need some the color of skin that you want your doll to be so like if you want her to have you can do pink you can do beige you can do um, light brown you can do dark brown you can do um, just all any kind of skin color that you want to make your doll you get that color of yarn then you're going to need white or if you want to do matching just figure if you want to do a dress that's red then you want to do maybe you want little red um, underwear or you want well, I just do white and then that matches with all dresses but you might want red or pink or blue whatever color underwear that's the color of the yarn you need just a little bit and then um, you can use your scrap yarns and then you're going to need the color of shoes you want to put on her so like if you're going to do a pink dress you might might want to do pink shoes or uh, blue shoes to match a blue dress so it's up to you I do brown and not, sometimes I do black just to map just because I want you know it to go with any color of dress so that's the doll and then this is the this is the um, the dress that I made that goes on the doll and I'll show you how to make that too this is the dress and we that'll be on a different week First I'll do this one week and then I'll do this the second week. We'll learn how to make this dress right here. And you can you're gonna need not a lot of yarn, but probably just a, a few uh, yards of whatever color you want your dress to be. So it could be yellow, it could be blue, it could be red, it could be white, whatever color you want your dress to be, that's what color of yarn you're gonna have. And then you're this this here is like a three ply or a two ply so I would do like a little bit thinner yarn so th this is actually four ply yarn but you I use four ply for the doll body but you could use three ply too this is two ply and th this is two ply right here or three ply and two ply this is this trim is a two ply so get some scraps out of two ply or three ply it could be baby yarn whatever you have to make your doll dress okay so there's the dress that i'm going to teach you how to make and there's your doll and then we're going to do um we're going to do the hair so whatever color hair you want but that's going to be like another week so because the hair does entail a little more time okay so that's that so far so I showed you the dress and I showed you the doll without the hair in the face okay there she is so anyway um, I hope everybody's doing great and I hope you're all excited about making this doll so get your yarn together get your your needles together I would say either an F probably an F and a G is what you probably will need um, I think I used a D hook to do the the trim but you can use an F an F hook would be okay and before I go now I'm going to tell you the words that you need to write down that you need to put down in order to be entered in the contest and um, it's remember it's going to be I'm not showing you the doll it's a surprise um, but you will be getting a little blessing that I made and that's going to be a birthday present for somebody one of my subscribers whoever I do the random picker and 
pick your name. So um, the words that I want you to put down is little blessing. Put down little blessing somewhere in your um, whatever you're writing. Just put, make sure you put little blessing in there so that that way uh, it, the random picker will pick your name, pick you so that you can be in the contest. So um, that's it. That's all I have to say tonight. And I do want to show you one of my little blessings that I did find. And I'm so excited because I found another one. And I, I'm so sad because I just can't seem to find them. I don't know if they got lost or, you know, what happened to them. I know I sold quite a few, but I thought I had more that I, um, there, I have a feeling there's some place that I just haven't come across them yet. But I am going to show you Annie that I made. I made Annie and then I made the little, her little dog. But the dog, I think, is, I, I think I sold that or somebody um, disliked it and it's gone. I can't find it. So let me show you Annie. She's right here. This is Annie. And that's how she looks in the back. And she is a little blessing. And I made her in 1994. And it says Annie um, 1994 and Sandy. So that means I did have make Sandy her dog. And um, I, but I just can't find Sandy. And I remember he was, I did a really good job. He was really cute. I'll t I have to try to make him again because she needs her dog Sandy, right? So that's Annie. Here, let me show you. My husband did her face. I thought he did a pretty good job. And that's her little red curls. And that's how she looks. So that's my little blessing, Annie. So anyway, God bless everybody. May the Lord protect you and watch over you. And have a good night's sleep tonight. Sweet dreams, all my friends. Bye.